Archaic Greek Alphabets, Wikipedia Article Audio Many local variants of the Greek alphabet were employed in ancient Greece during the Archaic and Early Classical periods, until they were replaced by the classical 24-letter alphabet that is the standard today, around 400 BC. All forms of the Greek alphabet were originally based on the shared inventory of the 22 symbols of the Phoenician alphabet, with the exception of the letter Sumek, whose Greek counterpart Xi was used only in a subgroup of Greek alphabets, and with the common addition of Upsilon for the vowel U, U with Macron. The local, so-called epicoric, alphabets differed in many ways, in the use of the consonant symbols Greek letter Chi, Greek letter Phi and Greek letter Psi in the use of the innovative long vowel letters, in the absence or presence of Greek letter eta in its original consonant function, in the use or non-use of certain archaic letters, and in many details of the individual shapes of each letter. The system now familiar as the standard 24-letter Greek alphabet was originally the regional variant of the Ionian cities in Asia Minor. It was officially adopted in Athens in 403 BC and in most of the rest of the Greek world by the middle of the 4th century BC. A basic division into four major types of epicoric alphabets is commonly made according to their different treatment of additional consonant letters for the aspirated consonants and consonant clusters of Greek. These four types are often conventionally labeled as green, red, light blue and dark blue types, based on a color-coded map in a seminal 19th century work on the topic, Studiens or Geschichte Griechischen Alphabets by Adolf Kirchhoff. The green type is the most archaic and closest to the Phoenician. The red type is the one that was later transmitted to the West and became the ancestor of the Latin alphabet, and bears some crucial features characteristic of that later development. The blue type is the one from which the later standard Greek alphabet emerged. Upsilon is also derived from Voth. The green type uses no additional letters beyond the Phoenician set, and typically also goes without Greek letters I thus, the aspirated plosives P. K are spelled either simply as Greek letter pi and Greek letter kappa respectively, without a distinction from unaspirated p, k, or as digraphs p, k. Likewise, the clusters p, s, k, s are simply spelled Greek letter pi, Greek letter sigma, Greek letter kappa, Greek letter sigma. This is the system found in Crete and in some other islands in the southern Aegean, notably Thera, Melos and Anif. The red type also lacks Phoenician-derived Greek letters I for KS, but instead introduces a supplementary sign for that sound combination at the end of the alphabet, Greek letter Chi in addition, the red alphabet also introduced letters for the aspirates, Greek letter Phi P and Greek letter Psi K. Note that the use of Greek letter Chi in the red set corresponds to the letter X in Latin, while it differs from the later standard Greek alphabet, where Greek letter Chi stands for K and Greek letter Psi stands for PS. Only Greek letter Phi for P is common to all non-green alphabets. The red type is found in most parts of central mainland Greece, as well as the island of Euboea, and in colonies associated with these places, including most colonies in Italy. The light blue type still lacks Greek letters I, and adds only letters for P and K. Both of these correspond to the modern standard alphabet. The light blue system thus still has no separate letters for the clusters PS, KS. In this system, these are typically spelled Greek letter Phi Greek letter Sigma and Greek letter Chi Greek letter Sigma, respectively. This is the system found in Athens and several Aegean islands. The dark blue type, finally, is the one that has all the consonant symbols of the modern standard alphabet, in addition to Greek letter Phi and Greek letter Chi, it also adds Greek letter Psi. In Greek letters I this system is found in the cities of the Ionian dotted capitalis, Nidus in Asia Minor, and in Carinth and Argos on the northeastern Peloponnese. The letter Eta had two different functions, both derived from the name of its Phoenician model, Heth. The majority of Greek dialects continued to use it for the consonant H, similar to its Phoenician value. However, the consonant H was progressively lost from the spoken language. And in those dialects where this had already happened early on in the archaic period, Greek letter eta was instead used to denote the long vowel comma, which occurred next in its name and was thus, in the H less dialects, its natural acrophonic value. Early Slotic dialects include Eastern Ionic Greek, the Aeolic Greek of Lesbos, as well as the Doric Greek of Crete and Elis. The distribution of vocalic Greek letter eta and Greek letter epsilon differs further between dialects because the Greek language had a system of three distinct E-like phonemes, 
the long open mid comma, the long close midi, and the short valley. In the Silotic dialects of Anatolia and adjacent eastern Aegean islands, as well as Crete, vocalic Greek letter eta was used only for. In a number of Aegean islands, notably Rhodes, Myalos, Santorini and Paros, it was used both for H and for without distinction. In Nidus, a variant letter was invented to distinguish the two functions, Greek letter eta was used for H and for. In South Italian colonies, especially Taranto, after c 400 BC, a similar distinction was made between Greek letter eta for comma and for H. This latter symbol was later turned into the diacritic sign for rough breathing by the Alexandrian grammarians. In Naxos the system was slightly different. Here, too, the same letter was used for H and for a long vowel, but only in those cases where long L-like sound had arisen through raising from older A, not, as other users of vocalic Ada did, also for the older inherited from Proto-Greek. This probably means that while in the dialects of other Ada users the old and new long E had already merged in a single phoneme, the raising sound in Naxos was still distinct both from A and comma, hence probably in like sound. Yet another distinction was found in a group of cities in the northeast of the Peloponnese, most notably Corinth. Here, it was not the open mid that was distinguished among the three E sounds, but the closed mid E. The normal letter epsilon was used exclusively for the latter, while a new special symbol stood both for short E and for. Yet another variation of the system is found in neighboring Tyrians. It uses the letter forms of the Corinthian system, versus E but with the functional values of the classic eta versus epsilon system. The letter digamma for the sound W was generally used only in those local scripts where the sound was still in use in the spoken dialect. During the Archaic period, this includes most of mainland Greece, as well as Euboea and Crete. In Athens and in Naxos it was apparently used only in the register of poetry. Elsewhere, i.e. in most of the Aegean islands in the east, the sound W was already absent from the language. The shape of the letter varies locally and over time. The most common early form is? Over time it developed an analogy with epsilon, becoming either the classical F or early Crete had an archaic form, or a variant with the stem bent sideways. Some local scripts use the M-shaped letter san instead of standard sigma to denote the sound S. It is unclear whether the distinction between the two letters originally corresponded to different phonetic realizations of the S phoneme in different dialects. Epigrapher Lillian Hamilton Jeffrey conjectured that San originally stood for a voice sound, and that those Doric dialects that kept San instead of Sigma may have had such a pronunciation of S. Roger Woodard, professor of classics at the University of Buffalo, hypothesizes that San may originally have stood for. In any case, each dialect tended to use either San or Sigma to the exclusion of the other, and while the earliest Abbasadaria listed both letter shapes separately in their separate alphabetic positions, later specimens from the 6th century onwards tend to list only one of them. San was used in Argos until the end of the 6th century, in Sicyon until c. 500, in Corinth until the first half of the 5th century, and in Crete for some time longer. Sicyon kept the sign as a local emblem on its coins. The archaic letter Kappa used for the back allophone of K before back vowels, was originally common to most epichoric alphabets. It began to drop out of use from the middle of the 6th century BC. Some of the Doric regions, notably Corinth, Argos, Crete and Rhodes, kept it until the 5th century BC. A few letters have arisen from innovative letter distinctions, most of them for local alphabets. The new letter omega to denote the long half open sound was invented first in the east, in the Ionian cities of Asia Minor, at some time before 600 BC. It was created by breaking up the closed circle of the Omicron, initially near the side. The letter was subsequently turned upright and the edges curled outwards. The Dorian city of Nidus as well as a few Aegean islands, namely Paros, Thasos and Melos, chose the exact opposite innovation, using a broken up circle for the short and a closed circle for the long O. Some Ionian cities used a special letter, alphabetically ordered behind Greek letter Omega, for a sibilant sound in positions where other dialects had either Greek letter Sigma Greek letter Sigma or Greek letter Tau Greek letter Tau. This symbol later dropped out of alphabetic use, but survived in the form of the numeral symbol Sampi. As an alphabetic character, it has been attested in the cities of Miletus, Ephesus, Halicarnassus, 
Era 3, Tias, in the island of Samos, in the Ionian colony of Massilia, and in Kizikus. In Pontic Mesembria, on the Black Sea coast of Thrace, it was used on coins, which were marked with the abbreviation of the city's name, spelled me. The sound denoted by this letter was a reflex of the Proto-Greek consonant clusters, or, and was probably an intermediate sound during the phonetic change from the earlier plosive clusters towards the later S sound, possibly in Africa similar to TS. In one attested document, the Archidocypriot Greek of Mantinea used an innovative letter similar to Cyrillic lettery, probably derived from a variant of San, to denote what was probably a like sound in environments reflecting etymological Proto-Greek K. In the highly divergent Pamphylian Greek, the letter digamma existed side by side with another distinctive form. It has been surmised that in this dialect the sound W may have changed to labiodental V in some environments. The F-shaped letter may have stood for the new V sound, while the special Cyrillic letter E-shaped form signified these positions where the old W sound was preserved. A special letter for a variant realization of this short E sound was briefly used in the Boeotian city of Thespi in the late 5th century BC. It occurred in the place of normal epsilon whenever the sound stood before another vowel. Since its shape suggests a compromise form between an Greek letter epsilon and an Greek letter iota, it is thought that it denoted a raised allophone, approaching I. It is attested in only one document, a set of grave steely from 424 BC. Many of the letters familiar from the classical Greek alphabet displayed additional variation in shapes, with some of the variant forms being characteristic of specific local alphabets. The form of Greek letters eta generally had a straight stem in all local alphabets in the archaic period. Greek letter theta was mostly crossed. Greek letters I typically had a vertical stem, and Greek letter phi was most often. Greek letter epsilon and Greek letter psi had frequent variants where the strokes branched out from the bottom of the character, resulting in and respectively. Greek letter eta was originally a closed rectangular shape and developed several variants with different numbers of arrangements of connecting bars between the two outer stems. The early shape of Greek letter epsilon was typically, with the arms diagonal and the stem descending below the lowest arm, it developed to the modern orthogonal form Greek letter epsilon during the archaic era. An analogous change was observed with, which changed from to either our early forms of Greek letter mu typically had the left stem descending lower than the right stem, this remained a distinguishing feature in those varieties that also had san for s. Greek letter pi also typically had a shorter right stem. The top of Greek letter pi could be curved rather than angular, approaching a Latin p the Greek Greek letter rho, in turn, could have a downward tail on the right, approaching a Latin r in many red varieties. Greek letter delta 2 had variants where the left stroke was vertical, and the right edge of the letter sometimes rounded, approaching a Latin D. The crooked shape of Greek letter sigma could be written with different numbers of angles and strokes. Besides the classical form with four strokes, a three-stroke form resembling an angular Latin S was commonly found, and was particularly characteristic of some mainland Greek varieties including Attic and several red alphabets. The C-like lunate form of Greek letter sigma that was later to become the standard form in late antiquity and Byzantine writing did not yet occur in the archaic alphabets. The letter Greek letter iota had two principal variants, the classical straight vertical line, and a crooked form with three, four or more angular strokes. The crooked type was the older form, and remained common in those varieties where it could not be confused with sigma because sigma was absent in favor of san. The letters Greek letter gamma and Greek letter lambda had multiple different forms that could often be confused with each other, as both are just an angle shape that could occur in various positions. C-like forms of Greek letter gamma were common in many mainland varieties and in the West, where they inspired the Italic C. L-like shapes of Greek letter lambda were particularly common in Euboea, Attica and Boeotia. Achaean colonies had a Greek letter gamma in the form of single Greek letter iota-like vertical stroke. The letter Greek letter alpha had different minor variants depending on the position of the middle bar, with some of them being characteristic of local varieties. The letter Greek letter beta had the largest number of highly divergent local forms. Besides the standard form, there were forms as varied as, and, Greek letter kappa, Greek letter nu, Greek letter omicron and Greek letter tau displayed little variation and few or no differences from their classical forms. All letters could additionally occur in a mirrored form, 
when text was written from right to left, as was frequently done in the earliest period. Athens, until the late 5th century BC, used a variant of the light blue alphabet, with Greek letter chi Greek letter sigma for ks and Greek letter phi Greek letter sigma for ps. Greek letter epsilon was used for all three sounds e, e, comma, and Greek letter omicron was used for all of o, o. Greek letter eta was used for the consonant h. Among the characteristics of Athens writing were also some variant local letter forms, some of which were shared with the neighboring alphabet of Euboea, a form of Greek letter lambda that resembled a Latin L and a form of Greek letter sigma that resembled a Latin S. By the late 5th century, use of elements of the Ionic alphabet side by side with this traditional local alphabet had become commonplace in private writing, and in 403 BC, a formal decree was passed that public writing would switch to the new Ionic orthography consistently, as part of the reform after the Thirty Tyrants. This new system was subsequently also called the Euclidean alphabet, after the name of the Archon Euclides who oversaw the decision. The Euboean alphabet was used in the cities of Eritrea and Colchis and in related colonies in southern Italy, notably in Cumae and in Pithecause. It was through this variant that the Greek alphabet was transmitted to Italy, where it gave rise to the old Italic alphabets, including Etruscan and ultimately the Latin alphabet. Some of the distinctive features of the Latin as compared to the standard Greek script are already present in the Euboean model. The Euboean alphabet belonged to the Western type. It had Greek letter chi representing ks and Greek letter psi for k. Like most early variants it also lacked Greek letter omega, and used Greek letter eta for the consonant h rather than for the vowel. It also kept the archaic letters digamma for w and kappa for k. San for s was not normally used in writing, but apparently still transmitted as part of the alphabet, because it occurs in Abbasadarian found in Italy and was later adopted by Etruscan. Like Athens, Euboea had a form of Greek letter lambda that resembled a Latin L and a form of Greek letter sigma that resembled a Latin S. Other elements foreshadowing the Latin forms include Greek letter gamma shaped like a pointed C, Greek letter delta shaped like a pointed D, and Greek letter O shaped like R. The classicist Barry B. Powell has proposed that Euboea may have been where the Greek alphabet was first employed in the late 9th century BC, and that it may have been invented specifically for the purpose of recording epic poetry. The Doric dialect of Corinth was written in a distinctive alphabet that belonged to the Eastern type as far as its treatment of P, K, PS, KS was concerned, but differed from the Ionic and Classical alphabet in several other ways. Corinth used San instead of Greek letter sigma for S, and retained Kappa for what was presumably a retracted allophone of K before back vowels. As described above, it also had an uncommon system for marking its sounds with a Greek letter beta shaped letter used for E and comma, and Greek letter epsilon used only for long close E. For the consonant Greek letter beta, in turn, Corinth used the special form. The letter Greek letter iota was written like a Greek letter sigma. Tas, Greek letter chi Greek letter alpha, Kis, and Garius, Avius, Sockles, Tithus, Amidus, Timalia, Ka. The following summary of the principal characteristic forms of representative local Greek scripts is based on the chapters on each dialect in Geoffrey.